Allie Borealis here. Welcome to my channel and thanks for subscribing. I sold three Hattie Carnegie pieces in one week. Let me show you how much they sold for and what I paid for them. In 1909, when Hattie was just 23 years old, she started a company in New York designing hats and later went on to design dresses and jewelry. Lucille Ball got her start with Hattie as a model and continued to be a lifelong fan of hers. By 1929, Hattie's little company went on to gross $3.5 million that year. Hattie Carnegie designed some exquisite costume jewelry pieces. So I'll show you the three that I picked up recently and they sold pretty quickly. So let's take a look at them. This first piece is a jade basket style. And when I say jade, I mean faux jade because all of her pieces were costume jewelry pieces, meaning there was no real gold, no real sterling, and no real gemstones. So this was basically, hate to say it, carved plastic. We don't call it that. We find prettier names to call it. We call it lucite, bakelite, acrylic, moon glow, celluloid, casein, resin. But that's basically what it is. So it is always amazing to me that you have these pieces of jewelry that weren't really made of the finest materials, but they'll still sell for quite a bit of money. For this particular piece, you can see it has the jade elements and then it has some very tiny rhinestones, clear rhinestones as well. And it's made to look like flowers in a basket. I believe this piece is from the 1950s or the 1960s. And I paid $50.72 and I sold it for $85. The second piece I have is this choker style necklace with a, with a huge stone on the clasp. It's lavender and it, you can see it has different uh, shaped beads on it. And some of these beads are, like I said earlier, plastic, but some of them are actually glass on this piece as well. I got this out of uh, one of my local auctions here and I paid $59.77 and I sold it for a hundred bucks. This last piece is a gorgeous blue rhinestone waterfall cascade style brooch and you know I find that pieces with these just gorgeous rhinestones on them actually sell a little bit higher. I got this piece at the same place that I got the, the jade piece, which was um, a store in Tucson, Arizona. So if you tune in to my thrifting from coast to coast series, I'm gonna do a Tucson video and I'll show you what else I got there. So for this particular piece, I paid $40.56 and I sold it for $124. All in all, on these pieces, I spent $151.05 and I made $309, more than doubling my money. I'd say that was a good week. I appreciate you watching. If you like what you're seeing, hit the subscribe button. It's free. <laughs>